Okay. Here is our Hurricane Milton story. Our youngest daughter evacuated to us since she lived right within the forecast actual land. And uh, so they were up here about a day and a half, something like that. Uh, her car had given problems and so anyway, um, the hurricane hit overnight. Next morning, got up, uh, the electricity was out, had to get the generator going. And then my husband said to me, hey, the tree snapped off. It's fallen across the lane. So, went out there helped him a neighbor came and helped because the tree was blocking their exits too and uh it was a cedar tree so it smelled wonderful as we're cutting it up and dispose of it and our daughter waddles out there and she's looking and her her four-year-old was a little scared by the noise of the chainsaws so she took her back into the house well then after a while when we're done I went into the house to check on her because uh, you know she's pregnant she's uh, the baby was supposed to be born um, right around the time that I'm making this video well she said mom I think I'm in labor oh my god, oh my god. we just had to cut down we just cut it up that tree got that moved how many other trees on the road to town might be down? I don't know. So I called up a friend of ours who works for the fire department and asked what the roads are like. And uh, he said, well, call 911 and they'll tell you if it, they'll be able to get out there to you or not. Um, he said, but so far I haven't seen anything to indicate that. So I called 911 and yeah, they were able to get out here and uh, they were checking her over and uh, you know, sure enough, she was in contractions. So they took her in to the hospital and I followed them and anyhow, then she's had to have C-section before and she just chose to just do that again. So, at five, little after five that day, I became grandma time number two to a beautiful little girl. It's only five pounds and a month early. So, yeah. That was the most interesting thing, other than having some branches down and and uh, chickens stop laying for about a day and a half, which was okay because I, <laughs> I was in front of the hospital. <laughs> so anyway, our daughter and her little girl were with us for about 14 days, and part of that is because her heart, car had to be fixed. And uh, they had to, you know, be able to get the part to be able to fix it. So that was how it went for us. And, uh, you know, I haven't had a newborn in the house since our children were newborns because um, their oldest granddaughter you know, they, they live almost three hours away from us, about closer to two and a half, something like that. And uh, so when she was born, you know, her daddy was there and, and that was fine. But he had to stay behind uh, in their hometown because of his job. And so with the C-section, I had to be her partner. And... Uh, yeah, wow. Seeing somebody do, have some labor and um, coaching them through 
is uh, it brought back a lot of memories. I mean, you know, our youngest is like 30, 33, 34 years of age now, so it's been a bit. Anyway, <laughs> so I just thought I would share that with you, you know. Everybody got touched by the storm. Didn't take long for our electricity to come back. Uh, you know, this is like, uh, I think about maybe two, three days at the most. So we were really lucky, but we didn't really notice it because we had the generator. And um, chickens were outside, free range, all the rain band coming through. They looked like they were drowned rats. <laughs> Did they just, you know, duck underneath the tree or in the pergola or whatever or went back out to the barn. And um, so all in all, we were blessed. We were lucky. And um, I hope that's the last hurricane we go through for a while. Um, though that's just wishful thinking because I live in Florida. Hurricanes are a part of life here, and always being prepared is just a part of life here. And uh, being smart about the preparedness, it's just a way of life. You learn when you've gone through a lot of them. And, you know, I'm 62 years old, yeah. And the time I've lived in Florida, a lot of times we've moved away from my husband's career and then come back and like that. Uh, so. I count it all up as one total, and it's uh, around 49 years that I've been here. So yeah, you get used to what you got to do to survive. Anyway, uh, and I'm not going to go into that. This is just about us going through Milton, and uh, we're okay. That's the important part. And the baby is doing great. So I'm going to leave you with that. And I hope everything is going great in your life. And this channel is going to take a little bit of a different direction. Uh, be a little bit more eclectic. And uh, I'm going to share some of my art stuff with you and like that. Because, uh, you know, um, there's more to life than just putting in garden and pulling weeds and running around video chicken stuff even though they're cute I love doing that um, and of course pickles is antics but uh, we'll see how that goes in the meantime see you later and get out there and get some dirt under your fingernails and wiggle your toes in the dirt and then, when the flowers grow, draw them and paint them, you know, that is a release for worry. It brings calmness to your soul. So there you go. See you later.